Welcome back App Inventors. Here I will demonstrate two techniques that I have been testing today that might be useful for a billiards game or other projects where balls collide. The first technique is when a first ball hits a second ball. The second ball will move in the same direction and speed as the first ball and the first ball will stop. The second technique simulates rolling friction by causing whichever ball is moving to be slowed down gradually until it stops. I will use the emulator to demonstrate this, but keep in mind that animations on the emulator will be slower than on a phone or tablet. The cue ball, which is the white ball in this example, is set to always point towards the orange ball in this demo. Let's start by clicking the hit cue ball toward orange ball button and watch what happens. The global variable active ball is used to ensure that only the blocks in the collided with block for the current moving ball are executed. In the start button click block, the cue ball is set as the active ball and pointed towards the orange ball. The cue ball spe speed is set to this cue stick strikes, strike speed of 10 pixels per friction clock interval. That starts the cue ball moving toward the 5 ball. So let's see that again. The friction clock timer enabled to true block here starts the win friction clock timer which gradually reduces the speed of the cue ball with each clock cycle to simulate rolling friction. If the cue ball strikes another ball, in this case the orange ball, both when cue ball collided with and when orange ball collided with event blocks are executed at the same time. And this calls the Exfer momentum procedure. That procedure determines that the cue ball is the active ball, then sets the orange ball moving and stops the cue ball by setting its speed to zero. As the orange ball moves away from the cue ball, it's no longer colliding with event block is triggered which sets the orange ball as the active ball. The orange ball then continues to move until it hits the edge of the canvas. At that point the when orange ball edge reached event block is triggered causing the orange ball to bounce off of the edge. During this time the when friction clock timer event block is executing and with each clock cycle the value friction coefficient is subtracted from its orange ball speed value until the ball stops moving. Pressing the reset button triggers the win reset button click event block which stops the friction clock and resets all balls to their initial starting positions. Now I will drag the cue ball so that when it's struck again it will cause a chain reaction by hitting the orange ball. And that will then hit the black ball, which will eventually stop. And 
in this case it bumps the orange ball again. Notice also what happens when the black ball is between the cue ball and the orange ball when the hit cue ball toward orange ball button is pressed. So more than one ball can be moved in this way until the friction clock timer event block causes all ball balls to stop moving. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and happy inventoring.